disaster declaration in one southern Colorado County remains in effect just days after snow measured in feet. Search and rescue teams worked tirelessly to help people stuck in their homes and on the road in Teller County. And tonight we're hearing from county leadership about the incredible efforts from the community and first responders. Let's get to 11 News anchor Grace Kramer, who's joining me live here from Woodland Park. You spoke with those who were on the front lines during all of this, and as you can see, some snow still remains. Adam, that also includes the sheriff and county commissioners. Crews are still working in some of the more rural parts of the county, but they say that as of tonight, they're making some pretty good progress. I was a little bit worried on how we're going to deal with the infrastructure of our county. We haven't had this type of snow effect in many, many years. Teller County is no stranger to excessive snowfall, but last week's storm put a strain on county resources. You have a medical emergency, you call 911. Our snow plows were trying to punch into that location, but four foot of snow and eight foot drifts, it can be daunting at times. Rob Vladimirov with the county search and rescue team worked day and night to help those stranded. He says they are still working to clear out roadways and driveways in some rural neighborhoods. These pictures show the team working to help rescue a plow driver stuck in an avalanche over the weekend. Our ambulance drivers are Sheriff's deputies, uh, fire departments got way more calls than we did. We just assisted them when they couldn't get to where they were going. While there are still more work to be done, Teller County Commissioners say they are looking toward the future and say preparation is key. You live at 9,000 feet, a lot of places at 10,000 feet. You got to be prepared for this and have inventory. You got to have a pantry full of food. I can live a month off of my pantry if I need to. Vacationers that are here that are really undocumented, that are just in someone's home, uh, but may not be prepared for four days and three days of outage. So. The sheriff tells me that sadly a few people have died as a result of this storm due to heart related issues and that emergency disaster declaration has actually opened up some resources for the county that includes from uh, help some help from Colorado Parks and Wildlife who has given them access to some additional snow equipment live in Teller County Grace Kramer KKTV 11 News. Wild ride for I know for a lot of people when it came to the amount of